Hello everyone and welcome to another very beautiful chess game by child Bobby Fischer and in this chess game Bobby Fischer is playing with the white pieces and his opponent is a player named Charles Sharp and this game was played in Montreal, Canada in August 31 so this game was played in a chess tournament in Canada, Montreal so Bobby Fischer starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, the Spanish opening, a6, attacking the bishop, bishop to a4, knight to f6, and Bobby Fischer castled, b5, bishop to b3, bishop to e7, d4, d6, c3, and also Charles Sharp castled, h3, rook to b8, knight from b to d2, bishop to d7, rook to e1, queen to e8, knight to f1, bishop to d8, knight to g3, knight to a4, attacking the bishop, so Bobby Fischer played, bishop to c2, c5, d takes on e5, pawn takes pawn, and then queen to d6 by Bobby Fischer, attacking the rook, so defending with the knight, knight to c6, and Fisher captures a pawn, queen takes on c5, and Bobby Fisher is a pawn up. We have bishop to b6, attacking the queen, queen to a3, queen to c8, and Bobby Fisher was attacking on a6. Well, Bobby Fisher is a pawn grabber. He likes to grab pawns. Bishop to e3. Rook to e8, bishop takes bishop, rook takes on b6, queen to c5 by Bobby Fischer, attacking the rook once again. Rook to b7, rook from a to d1, rook to c7, queen to d6, rook to d8, lining the rook with the queen. And Fischer played queen to a3, a5, defending the pawn, rook to d2, b4. C takes on b4, knight takes on b4. So in this position, Bobby Fischer wants to defend the bishop and he played bishop to b3, rook to c5, rook from e to d1, queen to c7, knight to g5, knight to c2, and attacking the queen. And where is the queen going? So Bobby Fischer played a very important move, and Fischer captures the knight with the rook, not with the bishop, and this is one of the key moves in the game. So Fischer captures the knight with the rook, rook takes on c2, and what else? Charles Sharp captures the rook with the rook, rook takes on c2. So this is the key moment of the game, and you will see why Bobby Fischer didn't capture the knight with the bishop. So what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Please, can you guess the next move of Bobby Fischer? Fischer played the best move by far. And after that move, Black is losing everything, every hope. And Black is losing the game. So what is the move? Well, Bobby Fischer played queen to e7, and this was the killer move, not capturing the rook. So if bishop captures the rook, there is nothing special for white. But after this move, black is losing. Charles Sharp is losing, but he didn't resign, and he played bishop to e8. And let me show you some other moves. What happens if black plays another move. After queen to e7, if rook to c6, well this is a very silly move, then we have queen takes on f7, king to h8, and then queen to g8, rook takes on g8, rook takes queen, and then knight to f7, that's checkmate. Instead of defending with the bishop, if defending with the rook, if rook to f8, then bishop takes on f7. 
If king to h8, queen takes rook, that's checkmate. And if rook takes on f7, queen to f7, check. King to h8, queen to f8, that's checkmate again. So whatever black does, black is getting checkmated. So after queen to e7, Charles Sharp is defending with the bishop, bishop to e8. And Bobby Fischer captures the pawn. Bishop takes on f7. Bishop takes bishop. Fischer played the move. And Charles Sharp resigned. Well, Bobby Fischer captures the rook. Rook takes on d8. And Sharp resigned. What a sharp game by child Bobby Fischer. So after this move, black is getting checkmated. If black not captures rook with the queen. So let's say if bishop to e8, the possible continuation. Bishop to e8 or knight to e8, it doesn't matter for black. Rook takes on e8, knight takes, queen takes on e8. Checkmate. So basically if queen takes rook, black is losing the queen. And the game, of course. So that's why after move 33, after Bobby Fischer captures the rook with the rook, rook takes on d8, sharp, resigned. And another very beautiful chess game by child Bobby Fischer. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.